I'm not gonna keep telling you. We can't keep doing this. We can't shoot everybody up. Come on, let's get all the guns. Come on, me and you. Let's shoot the whole city, then what? Then what? What happens when we locked up with the same niggas we trying to put behind bars? Just uh, do like a quick little intro, real quick. Just state each one of y'all names, and then um, just say something real quick about the movie. Whenever y'all ready. Hi, my name's Shamar Avery. So, <laughs> right, I'm here. So, so you're like, you got to do it. You got to do it. You got to do it. Don't laugh at my high, nigga. What you going to do? Fast like tell. What up, though? What you going to do? What's up? What's your high? How you going to do it? How you going to do it? What you going to say? What up? Is that a high? No, go ahead, bro. Go ahead. Say your what up, though. I want to hear your what up, baby. What up, what up, what up, what up, what up? It's Shamar Avery from Mula Films. Uh, come to that theater on April 9th. Start the air Southfield 5 on the movie. Gonna be the best one dropping in the city, bro. Make sure you're there. And shout out to you, no sale.com. That's your man, it's Martel Lane, man. Fast Life in the building. 5 on the movie coming April 9th. Start the air Southfield. Go now, log on, you know sale.com. Check out this interview, man. That's my dog. We working out here, you know, Fast Life. <laughs> <laughs> my name is Shamar Avery. I play Sarge in the movie Five. Welcome back. Um, April 9th, Southfield, Star Theater. Come on. He's a bad guy in the movie. And you go down. <laughs> Alright, tell, tell me who your character is and kind of explain him. Uh, I'm Officer JP. And I'm just, I'm wild as hell, man. I ain't got no cares. It's a dirty ass cop. But. My love for the streets, though. Like, that's what my love about in the streets, man. I'm doing it for my hood, my niggas, the real niggas, you know? It's a wild character, though. All right, so was, are there in, any similarities between you personally and the actual character that you play? The love for the streets, like the hood, that's about it. But he wild, man. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> wow. But yeah, most definitely, I'm hood like him, but he right. an officer, he got a badge, so Officer JP do what the fuck he want, man. It's either either get yeah, in behind my back. You know? <laughs> behind Sarge on his back. Yeah, this the Sarge, man. Alright, Sarge, explain your role. Well, I'm Sergeant Lee, uh, I'm a real, I'm a real snarling sergeant. I want my, I want my house clean. I want the streets clean. And you got crooked guys like this that's doing stuff to make us look bad. All right. So in the process of, well, you just, just coming off, uh, off buffed up. What was the transition from that movie, which was like a comedy, to this movie, which seems to be like a more of a, a thriller, maybe a little bit more serious? Well, this movie here is. Uh, it touched a whole lot more like serious basis for one and it, it made me look I had to like study officers in a different uh, in a different look because I'm from the streets and I'm still I'm a young guy young black guy so the, my dealing with the uh, with officers has always been they crooked they they shit fuck the police <laughs> but but playing Sergeant Lee I had to I had to look at all, the good officers the officers that's not corrupt the officers that don't look at the streets as, as, as being part of, of being hood and it is good officers out there, and we gotta see, we gotta think about them too. All right, what about your transition? Um, just being an officer, and I, um, I usually have like a more calm role. Like this one, I had to be on the edge the whole movie. You know what I'm saying? Like, I had to switch it up, cause I'm really a humble dude in real life, but the character JP not humble at all. So I had to switch it up. You no, know, it's dope though. It's part of the game. I have fun. Okay, alright. So so for the people, of course the movie hasn't dropped yet. Can y'all name some of the other people that's in the movie that's featured in this movie? Um Everybody. R.I.P. Dex. Yeah. You know, he in there. He did his thing. He had a chance to get in the movie. You know, we appreciate him. Um What was the other I mean, we worked with a lot of people foreign. Lance Lance Woodington. Um, great actor up and coming. Murder Pain, Rocaine, uh, Pain, Pain. Yep, uh, Self Made Cash, everybody, bro. I, mean, we, I love working with everybody, meeting everybody. Sino, 
Uh, you know what I'm saying? Y'all you know, just named a lot of people. <laughs> so, what was it and, like? And big ups to the people that we didn't name because it's people we just know. Right, it's a lot of them. Definitely, definitely. Can you explain uh, pretty much what it was like on the set working with so many different people? I know everybody got different different like attitudes and stuff like that. Um, explain, explain to me what it was a day um, like on the set. Honestly, everybody keep doing different attitudes at home, man. It be all fun and, and, and love on set, man. And, and you see the best of everybody, man, and, and it's love. It's always love. And it's usually a bunch of like rappers or people that's not really actors, so it be dope. You know what I'm saying? Showing people a lot of shit. It'd be fun on set. I love it. It'd be fun. Mm -hmm. It'd be like, what? and like you said, it'd be rappers that it, 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 you see them. Like I said, people be at their best because you see them come acting and they take it so serious. Yeah, I, I love it. So for for you, Marcel, you are you are a rapper, at at the same like like as far as as far as like acting. How how do you like well, how do you like acting? What was the what was the what's the transition? I. I'm not no rapper, let's stop. <laughs> Cause everybody be asking me that. You hit me up like get on these tracks. Like I ain't rapped it a long time, man. Like you know, nice murder is nice the rap, man. Okay. Rapper, you know what I'm saying? That's my guy. I put it all on him. I'm fully acting now, like I've been out the rapping shit, man. I'm saying people do be hitting me up like, what's up with the features? Like, and I don't even got the feel for rap no more. Like, so I'm just fully acting. I love to do my acting. Okay, so for people that's gonna come out to the to the to the premiere and people that's gonna see the movie afterwards, what can they expect from the movie? Excitement, like uh, action, action. This one, action. This movie, action. this movie gonna have you at the edge, at the seats. And, and oh man, this is gonna be a real good movie from beginning to end. You know, we come with them twists mm -hmm. and the storyline, so it's gonna be a good movie and the um, the event. The premiere, man, that's what we be having fun. And, you know, you got to come dressed, have a blast, man. Everybody there, nothing but good vibes. And they're going to see him and Thomas Harris kill that screen. Them boys did their thing, man. Yeah, shout out to Thomas Harris, too, man. Them boys did their thing. They did his thing, man. Definitely, man. I had the pleasure of, of, of doing the last event for uh, for Buffed Up. And the just the turnout was, was amazing. There was people who couldn't even get in. So explain, just just kind of go over what what the premiere is. You know what I mean for the people who might want to come out, or maybe like you know maybe I'm gonna come out, maybe I ain't. Let them know what they can expect from the premiere, bro. A good clean event. Uh, I love the fact like we bring out like you said it be people that don't even get in. No violence. Uh, grown up fun and, and entertainment. It's fun man, come dress grown up. Everybody is stars that night. Let's have fun. We all in there together. And it's we're, fun, man. The movie good. The whole event, man. Just it's just good vibes, man. And where is the premiere? The Start the Air to Southfield location. Okay. All right. Um, let's talk about just just the wheelhouse period, man. The movie I feel it's so much stuff going on. Even with Five O as well as uh, seeing some for Plug Love, the Bricks. Just talk about the experience of just working and being able to continually work on films, television shows, and everything like that. And I thank God that he blessed me and my family to be able to just do what we do, man. Me and my brothers, we we working hard, we having fun, and we all want to see each other, see the best for each other, man. There's nothing better than that. Just keep us occupied, man. Get us off these streets. And we got a team, like, shout out to Moolah Films, Detroit Cinema. Like, we got work, family. work, work. The show Mag, like, we got to be working, man. We got a squad, like, we play and have fun, but... It's some serious cats. Like when it's time when that camera come on, ain't no more the fun. Like it's time to get it done, you know. And we, <clears throat> and I definitely don't want to, you know, oh, graze over the movie. But just talk about um, any other projects that you guys got up and coming after the movie for people to be looking forward to. And we got a lot of projects up and coming. We working on uh, 30, more comedies, more dramas. That's all I'm gonna say. Keep the name to myself, but. We got a lot coming up. Yeah, so, um, Sorry. Club love coming. Hey, sir, we gotta come up with some aggressive. Um, Murder working on fast. Well, it's gonna be a positive bus to do the job out here. The bricks. You should be working on the bricks. So oh, aggressive soon. tactics. That's what you need. Yeah, just touring this right now. We on a promotion tour. We about to get this five o going. Y'all got the work, green work, light. Working until we get back into the five to the bricks. Okay. So, All right. We working though. 
And I know y'all hit a lot of places with, with, with buffed up on the promotion tip. So that's what that's what they can expect as far as promotion for for five oh as well. Five oh yeah. If God's willing. If God's willing even more, bro. Yeah, we we definitely take me there everywhere. Um give them the social media so they can go follow y'all and, and stay in tune with, with everything that y'all got going on. Um I'm um, Martel Lane on Facebook. I got like three Facebooks. Just type in Martel Lane. I use them all. I'm Fast Life Tell on Instagram. Um, that's it. I ain't on the Snap and Twitter yet. I'm gonna get hip to it though. Yeah, Shamar Avery on Instagram and Shamar Avery on Facebook. And any last minute things that you guys want to say to you know the fans and, and the supporters of you guys? Oh, man, thanks for the love, man. We appreciate it. Nigga never knew we'd come this far, man. Now it's just time to take it there. Shout out the whole Southwest, the whole hood, man. West Warren, Number Streets, McGraw Ave. All my people, man. Move out Films, Detroit Cinema, The Show, man. Fast Life. Let's get it, man. We working. It ain't enough, thanks. And God bless. Shout out, you know, Sil.